So what I uh, realized when I first started last year here is that uh, we were not consciously um, working towards recycling any type of materials that we had. We had the resource, I mean, we had the actual bands, we had um, uh, the signs, but there was no conscious effort to, to actually uh, recycle or reuse uh, in our school. The students knew about recycling programs. We talked about it at the beginning of the school year. They saw the box, that recycling symbol, but they were not very aware of what it takes to recycle. Uh, we actually used the bins as a trash can. So we really didn't you know, use it as a recycling uh, bin, you know, like to actually only put that uh, type of uh, materials that is recyclable. The kids didn't understand that. So having the recycle uh, program, uh, it helps the kids to identify what is trash and what's recyclable. Many of the teachers uh, from our own, uh, from, from our group, have decided to go paperless, which is a great way to reduce paper. Uh, we have many other teachers uh, understanding the importance of not throwing paper away and then reusing it. Uh, we have collected about 10,000 uh, one-sided printed uh, paper. They are being reused for all kinds of flyers and, and scanners. Uh, so it is a, an it's amazing uh, sight to see how a group of individuals see the importance of, of something and get together to make a, a huge difference. We have this line that we put the recycling bins in and I do third grade. I grab one recycling bin at a time. I put it in my line. Every Tuesday, every Thursday, you know, when there's a recycle, uh, recycling um, pickup time, we, we have to, my class has to actually go out there and uh, step on our bottles, which they love, and then uh, we sort out everything in uh, different bins uh, accordingly, like the um, dry erase markers, the used pencils, all the batteries, you know, they know now that those are all recyclable. And now we have a handful of parents that every Monday and every Friday, they send us trash bags full of aluminum cans, plastic bags, cardboard, galore. We have so much cardboard that we don't know what to do with. Our intention was to ensure that our, our, our use of paper will be reduced, but when you see the students being motivated, when you see teachers being excited about this, and then you see parents being taking part of that, uh, the, the impact of it is amazing. Uh, so our goal is to uh, continue moving towards a paperless uh, school. Uh, and, and you know, there was different ways for us to do this. Uh, we could just have to tell everybody, hey, you guys are gonna do paperless and that's it. But I think the way we, we went about implementing this by showing them the importance, by showing that parents were uh, behind this. Um, I think that's a much more powerful way of implementing anything than trying to just tell someone, hey, you need to do this. We go to recess now and, they, and the students are like, teacher, there's a water bottle, can we take it? Yes, put it inside the bag. We walk outside with a bag, one of the trash bags, and every day they're recycling Gatorade bottles and water bottles. It's um, a lesson that they'll use for the rest of their life, uh, hopefully to save the planet. The fact that we're all competing against each other, the classes are competing against each other, they're with a team with each other, and they all have fun. So it's not just the kids having fun, it's the school having fun.